incentives and events market in North America is quite strong right now. Optimism is strong. We're seeing our clients spending at least the same, if not more, year over year budgets seem to be increasing slightly. Um, along with that comes the problem of it being a seller's market. Um, it no longer is a buyer's market, which it was for you know so many years, especially during the recession. We're having to educate our clients more and more on making their decisions of where they want to place their business much sooner so that they're able to get the hotels, the space, and the dates they want that are going to be the most beneficial for the organization. So when it comes to Asia, the good news is we're seeing more and more business being placed in Asia. Um, I think that the geopolitical climate has influenced a lot of that. Um, our world has changed so fast, unfortunately, as it relates to things like terrorism, and um, that is just sort of the new norm and the new reality. Um, and I think that as a um, our market is becoming more aware of that, and life goes on, business goes on, and we need to keep traveling because honestly, that's the way we're going to get through this. Um, and so we're seeing more placement of business in the long haul destinations again because they're looking for those different experiences. They're looking for those unique experiences that they can't have in North America. Um, for many years, they've stayed with the North America, the Caribbean, Mexico for their incentives, and they've just done it. They've been there, done that. And so how do you motivate? How do you drive the results you're looking for with incentive travel especially? And Asia has a very special cachet to it. Um, many Americans have not yet been to Asia. So that is an exciting and special thing for them. And so building those experiences so that they can come back and talk about it um, and ultimately will lead to more business for that's, Asia. That's good to know. Shifting from incentives to meetings, compliance is such an important thing in the U.S. And that means when they're traveling abroad internationally, those same compliance matters still exist. So when they come on an international meeting where there are many global delegates, it's important that the destination, the hotel, the partners understand what that means so that we're able to be compliant. And to that end, I think Asia is a good option because it is a good value. And many destinations here, it is a great value. You can get a lot more for your money. It's just how you put the program together to ensure it's compliant.